Namaste, Dosto, Assalamu Alaikum. I'm here at Mina Bazaar in Dubai and they should really change this place's name to Bayman Bazaar because there are so many scams happening here. And ironically, it's named after Mina Bazaar in Delhi, which is known for counterfeit goods, for stolen goods, and for pickpockets. So let's go around here and let's catfish some scammers. Now this first guy who's about to approach me, he is the perfect example of a professional beggar. He's got his hard luck story, he's got the answers for everything, and this is all his job, to prey on the sympathies of others. And you'll see how he uses religion to pull on your heartstrings. Oh, hello, Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum. Are you Muslim? No. Are you a Christian? No. Are you Hindu? Nothing. Oh, just a normal, natural. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can say I'm a Hindu. Yeah, Hindu. Hindu that's nice. My wife is Hindu, so I can be a Hindu now. Oh, oh, that's beautiful, sir. I'm sorry for a little bit of inconvenience, sir. I'm a Clement Orosa, anyway. Uh, actually, I'm from Liberia, from Moravia. Huh. Yeah, but I studied in the South African in Johannesburg. Good. So I just came down almost four months now to Dubai. Mm. So I will get a job after four days because they will give me an offer letter after oh, four good, days after good. the interview. So I'm just ashamed to say this anyway. Um, I called my uncle in London to send me some recommendation, which huh. he, which he will do after four days. Yeah. So I just want to pay for my hotel bills. I have fifty dirham. I need extra fifty dirham from you or anything you oh, can afford. Why? That's my problem. I want to swap my hotel bills against tomorrow. My uncle will send me some money from London. Oh, like that. That's my plan. The Almighty God that I stand in His altar, if huh. you believe in, He will bless you, sir. Please. Yeah, wow. That's my problem. Anything you can afford to assist out of this fifty dirham. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's a hard situation, man. What yeah, are you going to do? I know, I know it's very, very hard. My uncle will send me money from London oh. after two days, inshallah. Uh, yeah. I'm in California Hotel. Really? Yeah, exactly. After the, uh, the, the river. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Bro, I don't believe you. Oh. Sorry, bro. Sounds like a scam, man. Yeah, no, you know, people are scam, really. People are scam. But yeah. I want you to, I will even give you my number. What? I will, when I will be going for Western Union, I will call you and tell you. Huh. For you to believe there are scammers and there are people who are sincere. So you just want me to give you 50 dirhams? Exactly, sir. Why? I, I, I have 50. I want to pay for my hotel. I don't trust you, bro. Oh, Baba, Baba. You, you, you take it from me, then you'll ask the next person only, man. If I try that, let heaven take my life. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. Sorry, look bro. at me, man, bro. I'm almost 50 years. I'm old to be young. No, you're young, man. You look so young. Look how fit you are. You're going to the gym. How do you pay to go to the gym, man? Sir, how no, are you paying for I these muscles? No, I did it and this was in the, South Africa. Hey, sell this chain, man. No, this chain is five dirhams. Oh, looks looks more. Sell your watch, man. This watch is ten dirhams. Sorry, uh. <laughs> I won't lie to you, sir. I'm telling you from my heart to heart. I feel bad for you, but I still don't trust you. Sorry, bro. Yep. Bro, sorry, please, bro. Please give me your trust. I feel bad for you, but I don't trust you. Okay, you know what? Whatever you have in your heart to give me, if that fifty dirham is too much for you, <laughs> just help me, please. No, bro, you're in. And, and we will meet in paradise one day, if really you believe. Right, we will we will meet in paradise. But this is Dubai, man. You can't come here with no money, man. Like. No, it's I, not gonna work. My man. money finished during the lockdown. Uh, yeah, it like exhausted that. exactly. I'm uh, just securing a job. I've heard these stories so many times before, man. Oh, like, you see, one egg has spoiled the broad, sir. Yes. Please. But if it is from your mind, okay. If not from your mind, there is no problem. You're sir. a good salesman, though, man. You'll get a job quickly in sales, and you no, know, I have. Everything will I be have good, applied, bro. Sir. You don't want to help, sir. Okay, there's no problem. There's no problem. There's All no problem. right. I have tried my best. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. Yes. Bye. Before we go back to Mina Bazaar, and, and we're going to bump into someone else, but Baru Dubai at night is just really bad. Professional beggars are actually brought in from foreign countries and allocated certain corners to operate on by begging gangs. And usually these beggars, unfortunately, they've also been scammed themselves into doing this job by some job agency in their own country. They're promised, you know, a job so they can afford to marry their daughter off or, or something like that. Ah, I can see why it's known as Mina Bazaar. You've got all these little lanes and down all these little lanes you have all these kind of Indian fashion shops. You do find that at Mina Bazaar as well. But I tell you about that guy that I just met. He was totally full of it, okay? Do not trust these people. They are just liars and they're just salesmen. 
They're faked beggars. Sunglasses. No, I don't need them. These are not real. They're not real. They're not real. These are not real. How much do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? No. They're not real. Now, you're just wearing the sunglasses and sunglasses, right? No, I have a good one. Let me show you. Yeah, let me show you. And, uh, yeah, just like Mina Bazaar in Delhi, you can do your fake stuff here as well. Even when you're vlogging, these guys aren't, like, ashamed of it, right? But, yeah, it's not real. If you don't have a real one, I'll tell you. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, it's very hair. I can see the quality. You can see the quality on this. It's just so bad along here. Here we Ray-Ban. No, no, look. So this is Ray-Ban, but they've put the... They've put the, what is it? Porsche logo or some kind of Italian logo on there to try and trick people. Hey, it's very nakli, man. Come on. But how much is this here, Ray-Ban? Yeah. Huh. 60. 60 dirhams? Yes. Good price, 60 dirhams, huh? Yes. No, man, I don't want it. I don't want it. I want it. Sir, this is the first copy. Yes, I know it's the first copy. First copy. It's a good copy, but it's a good copy, but no thank you. So, like I was saying, that last guy that I met, he's a fake beggar. Don't believe anything he said. He was completely full of it. And it's actually a job for these people. Some of them are earning up to 100,000 dirhams a month. The police have found them here. And the Dubai police have the anti-infiltrator department. And they come here around these areas. They find these foreigners who aren't meant to be here because begging is totally illegal here. And they, they put them in jail and then they deport them. So yeah, the Dubai police is quite good like that. They do take action against scammers here and, and these fake beggars. And there's many charities here in Dubai who will help out people who are going through a rough patch and who need money or need food. But because these guys are illegal immigrants, they don't have a residency or a proper visa, so they can't go and ask for support. These beggars come on tourist visas just for the business of begging and selling their, their sob story.